Hello, this is Virtua Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown, and I am pressing the any button. And we have that. You know, I was. I looked at a, a Japanese stream uh, that this guy was playing the Japanese version on a PS5, and he did not have that little confirmation thing he had to jump he had to hit the button for, to get through about what autosave or whatever that stupid message is that did not come up on on his recording of this game on a ps5 japanese version so i don't know if that's warning is only there on the ps4 version because saving is just in a blink of an eye on the ps5 or if that warning is not in the japanese version uh but either way I thought that was interesting, because I hate that warning, and it's a real pet peeve. Alright, um, first things first here. I'm going through the music soundtracks. You can pick soundtracks from previous games if you have the Legendary Pack DLC. So I've been going up through the soundtracks, starting from... Which one? One, two, three, four, four evolution. So now I'm doing five. And uh, this goes right up to the previous version. And then if you leave it on default, of course, it's the new soundtrack that this game, Ultimate Showdown, comes with. But for now, we're doing Virtual Fighter V. Okay. Now I'm going to do something that also requires the Legendary Pack DLC, which is uh, customizing a character. And we're doing Jackie Bryant. As soon as this loads up. Uh, uh, where are you at, Jackie? You're here somewhere. Wait, here you go. Okay, there's only about 10% of the items that were in the previous version of the game, Final Showdown, are in Ultimate Showdown so far. They've said they're going to add the rest. Final Showdown had something like 20,000 items, and Ultimate Showdown so far, according to Sega, has about 2,000 items. Final Showdown had, I should really verify this sometime, I think it had five types, up through type E. Um, so far we've only got three types here and each one has a lot less items to mess around with. So we've got under type A. I'm going to make just one costume, so I have to decide on which of these I like best. Now I'm going to start off by going to the shirt section. Now there's two shirt sections for Jackie's and he's got an inner and outer thing. Uh, well, that's not too exciting. I mean, also, I'm, I'm customizing with my joystick, my arcade stick, and it's kind of... It's my excuse for being clumsy. Uh, that's weird. Oh, man, he bounces around so much. Let's see. How do I make him... I have to find the L3 button on my stick. Here we go. Oh, wow, they, uh... Well, these are not super exciting. Is this a Burning Man advertisement? Some kind of uh, American Eagles thing. Uh, anyway. really like the brown and red color combination there. Jackie does have some fun costumes you can put together in Final Showdown. Not sure how many we'll get here. And the other main category is pants. Uh, leather pants, we got cowboy pants. It's sort of built-in chaps. Or half chaps, or I don't know what those are. Uh, got the Big old baggy overalls. A lot of Jackie's pants are really baggy. Oh, these look good. They've been remaking the items by hand in the new engine, the Yakuza engine. And uh, all in all, it's mostly a, a big improvement on the surface um, rendering of these items, which a lot of which were not looking good in Final Showdown. They looked worse in Final Showdown than they did in 5 Vanilla if they were in Vanilla. Yeah, this is pretty good. 
We got some more baggy pants. All right. This is his, uh, his Wolverine, X-Men Wolverine costume. See, but they don't have an option to take off his jackets yet, which uh, is a big deal. And because I like my characters as naked as possible, and in fact, Jackie is, uh, is super buff. But you totally can't tell when he's wearing these jackets. I mean, you can tell he's athletic, but the dude's chest is really ripped. And, you know, he's a, he's a handsome dude, what can you say? This jacket's kind of fun. Red, black, or beige. <laughs> yeah, they have a lot of silly stuff. And actually, you know, 90% of the silly stuff isn't even here yet. In fact, actually, probably more than 90% because they got really silly later on. So... A lot of the male pants have a kind of high waistline, which is not super fashionable these days. There we go. You got to bundle up. I like these pants better. Anyway, our spangles got some stripes. That one's got a stripe. That one has no stripe. And if you're, you know, looking to fall out of an airplane and might need some kind of spare parachute, you take these pants. Okay, so... Ah, uh, we're, we're seeing more skin. Actually, I, I could swear... Yes, yes, I have seen guys with a shirtless Jackie. All right, well, my choice is made for me. Kind of a dingy texture. But, you know, they, they faithfully recreated some of these textures from the previous version, and some of the, some of the textures were not that great to begin with. It's all oiled up and everything. All right, uh, so that's, that's an easy choice. What do we got here? I mean, since I'm only making one costume, I... Now uh, we have necklaces that don't rest on the back of his neck correctly. That's that's pretty much how it goes. That one does a much better job. But, you know, I think this kind of thing, like, they probably just recreated that geometry as closely as they could from the original. And maybe they're worried that it might clip through certain collars or something. Clipping through his chin. Anyway. We can go with the, uh sexy cowboy look who doesn't love that kind of thing although he doesn't have all his cowboy stuff I would bet well let's go see I mean here's here's some more cowboy uh, what else do we got we'll have to go with something like this oh yeah now we're getting it it's a little more cowboy he needs a belt with that one though Oh, we do have the chaps. Mmm, chaps. Mm. I don't know about the chaps, though, really. I mean, they're okay as far as chaps go, I guess. It just looks like too many layers for... You know, his legs are going to get all sweaty. It's not really what you want. Also, this gun is kind of silly. Hmm. If he 
doesn't have a belt though, and he doesn't. He doesn't have belts. So all he's got for a belt is this gun <laughs> so far. And see how high-waisted the pants look without uh, some kind of belt? I mean, that just looks horrible. No, no man would be caught dead in, in this day. I mean, you know, my grandpa had pants like that, I think. But, I mean, come on. You gotta show off more of his abs. Uh, so, yeah. So I guess we're gonna take the gun. <laughs> because otherwise these belts look like grandpa pants. Or these belts, these pants look like grandpa pants. And I may go with the chaps because that distracts further from the grandpa look. I don't know. This is where decisions become tough. That ain't bad. That doesn't quite go with this particular look. Man, these are some good pants. I gotta say, Jackie's got already a wide selection of good pants. I think a lot of... He gets more baggy pants later. It's kind of bizarre. I just loved giving him baggy pants. Oh, look at that. Come on. Well, these are all good pants, but I have to settle on one. Okay, maybe not the stripe for now. So that weeds those out. Um, and those. I actually kind of like the red. I don't usually go for red. Maybe it's just because it goes with his gloves and his bandana. Is there another bandana color? No, that's no good. That's just too many layers. I can't do it. Less of a, wait a second. Yeah, they just have less of a grandpa look, I think, because the groin area is a little more, a little less defined or broken up or something. Oops, that gets a little, a little zipper marking right over the groin. We don't want that. We want the groin in shadow so he doesn't look like a grandpa. These actually look pretty good, even with the stripe. Mm, okay. Those are pretty good too, actually. Gosh darn it. You may come down to what I what I find goes for the hair color. Anyway, let's, let's stop messing with those for now. The work boots, those are a good start. That's a little too too dressy. Those could work. Oh man, these are so long. They're like a clown in those. Um, let me just stick with these for me now.
you. Who's the stud? You are. Hmm, there's no no glove option yet. That I can remember if there will be. Those lasers. Uh, uh double. Mm. That's not really going with the hair here. Maybe later. The glasses tend to be kind of a mixed bag. I'm not feeling those for this look. Okay, that's more like it. They maybe a little high. I'm like super relaxed in these, especially with that big frame over the nose. These are kind of dorky. <clears throat> Why do they have that huge reinforced bar over the, over the nose piece? Weird. I mean, if I was going for some kind of futuristic look, I guess I could. You know, he's got his Google glasses or something, right? Alright, the glasses, not so great. I mean, they're modeled okay, and they don't have screwed up rendering. I'm just being picky, I suppose. But they also. I don't have one. If he had, like, some aviators or something, some, like, brown aviators. I could totally see those with this look. So this is weird. I'm not able to catch a oh, reflection <clears throat> on the outside, but I can on the inside. These lenses, ah, water, sorry. Oh man, that was bad. Um, yeah. Fortunately, they did. They remade the faces for the characters in Ultimate Showdown, which they didn't perhaps need to do, but it did fix the uh, kind, of, kind of wonky eyes a lot of them had in most cases. Certainly, Jackies are looking okay. Like, who is. Uh, I just played. Um, Vanessa, and she's got, she's kind of got a really beetling brow with just big, staring, scary eyes now, which is not, not my favorite. Jackie's not too bad. A lot of characters also have these kind of orange un <clears throat> under eyelids, like, I don't know, I don't know how you get orange around your eyes like that. Sniffing glue or something, maybe, I don't know. Don't try this at home, kids. So they're calling this a faux hawk. His hair, this this is his default hairstyle. I could swear this got a couple inches taller in Ultimate Showdown. Over a final showdown. I mean it is that is that is just a rooster comb going on now. So I guess we could call it a faux hawk. I mean it's a full head faux hawk. That's I didn't know that could qualify as a faux hawk or whatever. That actually looks good. The, uh, the hair in particular is, is benefiting from the improved surface rendering effects. Ooh, shiny. It do kind of look like feathers. Uh, okay, uh, okay, anyway. What was this? Brown? Oh, right. But a lot of the old hairstyles are just kind of weird. Jackie, I, so far we're lucky here. These are all pretty good. That looks pretty nice. Kind of digging that. Wild brown. Oh, 
Mouse, so we don't have a white full head Fohawk, but we have this. That looks pretty good. I like that. I might like that more. Now, maybe that could go with some glasses. So, oh, cowboy hat. Wow. Oh, so this was a big question for me because in Final Showdown, hats were... The hats were bad. The hats were real bad. They just clearly did not fit the heads of the characters. Most of the hats were huge. Now this one looks like it fits pretty well. I don't remember if this was one that was problematic in the... Maybe there's a little room in front. It's hard to... Wait, wait. Oh, yeah. can't tell. So actually this one, but this one looks fine. That's good. Okay, I might have to go. There's too many good hair or hat options for Jackie right now. This is ridiculous. And there's only gonna get, okay, this is, this is a bit Final Fantasy-ish. I do not need Sephi Roth Bryant. Oh man. I mean, this is just a face you wanna punch. Yeah, there's fun options here. Jeez. Hey, cast lightning bolt, wizard. All right. Um, see, I could do like, ah, no. I've done that. I've done that before. Uh, do this, and then I think this might work with some glasses. See, that looks pretty good. Yeah. That's kind of a Chippendales look, I, I, maybe? I don't know. I've, I've seen a Chippendale show. Are they still around? Who knows? And I do like these cowboy hats an awful lot. Oh, and with the glasses. And see, the glass of the hat hides the weird frame on top. Alright, we, we may just have to do that. I mean, this is pretty good. This looks like one bad hombre with some uh, some impressive abs. Um, all right. Well, I I think there are a lot of other good options we could go with, but kind of kind of got to get on with the main event at some point. So let's just settle for that, or just go with that for now. Let me let me see the pants options again. Uh, we've got the other bits together. Uh, we got some of this. See, even the women's pants just have like, excuse my French, no ass. I mean, look, look at this. Look, what's going on back there? There's nothing. It just looks like a mudslide. And that's not really what you want to conjure images of. Um, I mean, that's good. What's I doing though? These. Yeah, I like that little burst of line art there. And it helps him remember uh, which side the gun goes on. Okay. Now, in Final Showdown, where you had 10 times as many items, you also had. I think about 42 costume save slots per character, and here we only have four so far. I kind of wonder if they will increase that uh, when they add more of the items. You could also name the slots, which you kind of needed to do once you had, you know, 40 some costumes for a character. Um, like, what if I make a second Type C? It's just going to call it Type C again, I bet. That's not too helpful, but I guess if there's only four, you... I don't know. They should have let you name them. Maybe they will eventually. Okay, so the actual object tonight is, as I have been doing, to fight cheaply through arcade mode. Um, on the hardest difficulty, very hard. Uh, 
because the AI is actually not very good, even on very hard. It's it's well, it's good in certain respects, but uh, it's just generally weak on defense, kind of. Now I'm gonna check some other costumes here. These are the Virtua Fighter One style costumes. These also came with the Legendary Pack DLC, so you need the Legendary Pack DLC for these, as you do for customizing the character. <clears throat> and remember, we're also rocking the Virtua Fighter V uh, soundtrack. Ah, oh, yes, I remember this track well. So Jackie was in Virtua Fighter 1, so here we get to see a recreation of his original Virtua Fighter 1 look. Oh my gosh, look at that chest. That is frightening. And the face is just so... Oh, it's so funny. I want to see a close-up of this, but that means I have to... ...beat Brad down. So we can get a wind cam on this face. I did not expect... So, I've been playing Jackie in Virtua Fighter 4 Evolution. But Jackie is very different here than in Virtua Fighter 4 Evolution. I think he's also pretty different than he was even in Virtua Fighter 5 Vanilla. They, they, they really re revamped a lot of the characters, and I think Jackie's one of them. He's got a much more... He's got... Well, all the characters got way more attacking options, and Jackie now... Oh my gosh, that chest... He, uh, to me it feels like he kind of, you know, from his first attack he sort of goes down different routes of attack, um, styles or, or something. Here comes my suplex. And what bothered me when I played him in Final Showdown briefly was it kind of feels like he can't really switch from certain attacks to other attacks as freely as I would like. Because once he sort of commits to an attack, his, uh, his available attacks kind of want to be certain attacks that go, that follow up that first attack. I don't know if any of that makes sense or is actually real, but that was just the feeling I got playing him briefly in Final Shooter. And they kept the gameplay the same, so... This is basically, play-wise, basically Final Showdown. You know, I was not even paying attention to my winning close-up in the last match, even. I just, I just start talking too much. I'm sorry. It's going to happen. I do like that. That doesn't exactly have that in Evolution. <laughs> the voice with that face. I guess, I mean, he does have forward kick in Evolution, which kind of does the same thing, but it's it's sort of longer range and lower, and uh, it actually doesn't always get you a launch. It's kind of weird. Round one. Ready? All right, so that's his uh, Player 1 VF1 costume. Uh, yes, yes, right, okay. Just see the second one very briefly. Took the long way. Oh, Go's house is broken. At least it's not on fire yet. Oh wait, I guess it is. I mean, I was thinking those were neighboring houses, but it's also partly attached to a burning house? Or was, it, was that just... I don't know, maybe it's not. I guess it's not. We're just a little one-room shack that isn't on fire yet. Man, this is, uh, this is interesting how just totally black this costume is. I actually kind of like this. I mean, you know, well, if you watch me customizing costumes or you watch my previous costume customization and final showdown or anything uh, a lot of my costumes just end up being black you know I mean it looks good that's all what can you say
you, you cut down on distractions and you just just emphasizes style and line. So I'm having fun mashing buttons here. Give me, give me a close up in my black man shirt. <laughs> that face, the non-animating face. This is this is a cool costume, I gotta say. Round one. Ready? Go! But we're gonna go with the uh, kind of sexy cowboy look I made because why not? All right, here we go. Now you may have noticed that that first match was super easy. Um, again, this is very hard difficulty. This is the hardest difficulty. Uh, the first three matches, however, are pretty easy. Sometimes I have had a little... The AI has gotten a little sassy in the third match. But not, not much. You're not Go, you're Brad. Also, this UI I have here is what's called Retro UI. You might have seen that in the options menu. That uh, is part of the Legendary Pack DLC as well, and it's pretty awesome. Also, much easier to read, and it takes up less screen space than the normal UI. Round two. Also, it, see where it said ready there? It, it, it takes out the big flashy... In the normal UI, there's these big flashy sort of gold scroll effects between rounds when it's introducing or removing big gold lettering and stuff. And, uh, if you have, if you are sometimes prone to photosensitivity, like I am, because you're an idiot and you don't get enough sleep sometimes, uh, having just this simple block text in yellow that appears and disappears with no flashing effects is much more preferable. So. Having this retro UI option is pretty amazing. Pretty darn amazing. Uh, thanks to whoever at Sega came up with that idea because that was a good idea. I don't know what's with the kids and their flashy UIs and all the sparkles in your faces these days, but I'm old. I, I spend too much time not getting enough sleep sometimes I'm trying to fix that, but in the meantime... I really just Go. like just nice pure non-flashing in my face graphic design. Oh, that was that was cool. You got a blue flash there. Is that kind of an aqua flash? A cyan flash, perhaps. Ow! I'm hitting buttons that aren't buttons. So this UI, uh, once we get to the fourth stage. It will be much tougher. Its offense will be a lot better. Its defense won't be super good, though. So if you can survive the offense, you can often just just cheese it. Just keep hitting it with a... That's down forward kick. Just find an attack to repeatedly hit it with, and it just won't defend or counterattack or whatever correctly. Um... So you did an invasion there. It's pretty good for stage two. Ow! He's not defending throws yet, but this is only stage two, so, you know, even on very hard, I don't know. I don't know if you would expect that exactly. All sweaty. I mean, Jackie, not me. I'm not sweaty yet. It's not that hot in here. We've, we've, uh, we've gotten through the heat wave here in eastern Washington, which is good. It's still pretty warm, though, but not, not so warm. Hey! So this is only stage three. We might see some some sassy moves from Shun. Again, with this, uh, with the way that def the defense of the AI isn't very good, if you find yourself blocking, that's really not where you want to be. You kind of just want to find attacks you can 
barrage them with. At least if you're trying to play... If you're just trying to take advantage of their defensive weakness and not trying to play like a real virtue fighter. But, you know, what is real virtue fighting if all you do is play the AI and the AI in this game is not defending normally? So forward kick is doing all right. Wait, wait, is that forward kick or can you also just do neutral kick? Oh, probably not. Neutral kick. Yeah, that's neutral kick. That's a lot like... Is that a mid or a high? The first one. It looks high. I don't know. So kick, kick in evolution seems good at first, but it's also pretty unsafe. The second kick does not have much pushback, and so even if... The AI blocks it and gets pushed back, they can still counterattack you fairly easily. I got no time for you. We'll see how it goes in this one, I guess, if I try spamming it. Oh gosh, Leife. Leife is my second most hated opponent. He's probably Well, maybe my worst hated here. My my most hated opponent is Leon, but in arcade mode in this game, Leon only comes along in stage one. There's three sort of fixed gauntlets of opponents you might face, and which one you face is, I guess, random. Leon is the first stage in one of those. The stage four characters you face are Leife here. Uh, Jackie himself is a stage four character in another gauntlet. And then the other is Eileen. And Jackie and Eileen are pretty pretty nasty surprise if you're used to stages one through three. And Leife, I believe I had a lot of trouble with him, whoever I was playing with last time I got here. Stop that, you jerk. All right, so what am I going to... He's not... Uh, Leifei's face offense, I hate. I have never gotten used to fighting Leifei in his stupid katas where he has like auto deflection properties. Like when he has his back turned there, he can't block normally, but he'll just get like, he'll just be resistant to different attacks and you just have to kind of know. I hate it so much. And then sometimes he's just gonna keep attacking and you cannot interrupt. It seems like. Alright, so I really have to find what what uh, attack I have that will bash through and keep him keep him taking hits, basically. Because my other option would be to get good. That's going to take a while if I ever get there. Oh no, come on, I didn't even... Uh... Ooh. Stop it. Stop it. I said stop. Jeez. So my standby in evolution where I'm playing Jackie in quest mode. Virtua Fighter 4 Evolution is forward punch punch kick, which I was doing there. And after you do it, you can skip backwards, which gets you out of trouble a lot. Here though, Jackie does this idiotic little dance after skipping back. I, I don't like that. I don't know if I can can't see there. He just got pasted for doing his stupid little taunt. Don't, okay, so skipping back is not gonna work. The forward punch, forward punch, punch kick is working pretty well, even without the stepping back. Round three. Ready, um, go. I'm not good at Virtua Fighter. There are things that I don't like about the games and just refuse to do, so I don't really do evasions. I don't do throw escapes. Uh, I don't do down punch, which is, as every Virtua Fighter knows, the optimal way to attack 90% of the time. So I do a lot of dumb stuff. But I can still cheese my way through this AI. 
as we see there. So that was just forward punch, punch, kick. I think you only have to have forward held for the first punch and then just punch, kick. I'm not 100% sure about that. Anyway, it's, it's just, it's what I do all the time in evolution. You, in evolution, you have to, you pretty much have to do the skip back afterwards. Well, you don't have to, but it, it makes it a lot safer. And this, they've given him that stupid dance afterwards, and I, I would have to go into maybe command training to see if there's a way to cancel it, because I really hate that little taunt he does there. Stop it! Why didn't he just hit me when I'm being a dork? See? I wonder if there's a way to get out. Okay, you can you can do another attack. I don't necessarily want to do another attack. I didn't skip. I missed my skip. Hey, come on. I'm trying to test something here. I'm trying to understand myself. I can't even skip that. What am I doing? Wrong combo. Wrong combo. Uh, I've lost my ability to do my... Not doing a step back. Ah, whatever. So, yeah, they gave all the characters a lot more offensive options in in Final Showdown slash Ultimate Showdown. For instance, in Evolution, I, I only have about four or five attacks that are kind of viable against the high-level AI. The other, I mean, his other, what, 80 attacks? I don't know. Will uh, just get counterattacked viciously. So in Evolution, you really have to be careful what attacks you use. Um, and I think, I think they tried very hard to make it so all characters now in, in Final Showdown slash Ultimate Showdown have many more viable offensive options because of course that makes for, when you give players more options, it makes for much more interesting player versus player matches. And they were really catering to the arcade versus crowd in Japan. That crowd has kind of gone away now. Well, the arcades have sort of gone away, even in Japan. They're not what they used to be. Sega eventually shut down their arcade support for Final Showdown, and they kind of thought it was all over. And I kind of, I kind of think they didn't think there would be another Virtua Fighter. But what happened was, in these past few years, especially with the pandemic, you really saw the online tournament scene growing in Japan uh, on PS3 primarily. And I think Sega Sega saw that and they were like, wait a second. We should we should be getting a, a cut of this. We gave up on this too soon. Players have players have discovered internet play and they're working it. So they they gave us this new version which has tournament stuff built in. I think the tournament the tournament square on the main menu is still grayed out and I I wonder if they're still working on that mode. Cause they haven't had a big online tournament yet in even in Japan as far as I know that's clearly what they're going for with this game so that's gonna come along at some point maybe they're waiting till they get the rest of the items in I kind of kind of doubt that but certainly the uh, the costumes that characters or players developed over years of playing this game in the arcades became their became their identity and those players cannot recreate their arcade identity right now because the, the costume pieces just aren't in. All right, Owie, I always underestimate. I've not been paying attention to what I'm doing. I underestimate her in every game except maybe three where I just kind of know she's going to be bad. I mean, bad to fight. Oh, gosh. Round two. Oops. Oops. Hey. 
Oh, wow. So she did a back throw escape. Don't do that. Oh, no. Another throw escape. That was a forward throw. Oh, that pause. Okay, finally got her with forward. Forward. Her forward punch punch kick. Round three. Uh, This is where the AI actually starts to look kind of very hard. I wouldn't really call this very hard. Because I don't know what I'm doing exactly with Jackie. Or anybody. And I don't do basic things you should be doing in this game. Like evading. Or throw escaping. I'm just spamming moves. Spamming attacks. Round four! But if I can do it, you can do it, because, believe me, I have no great ability. Oh, no. See, I still don't... Uh, I'm going to have to work that out in this. <laughs> he really wants her to come along. Hey. He is fun to use. Uh, just in the sense that he's got all these pretty, pretty bouncy, snappy, springy punches and kicks. I was listening to some uh, veteran uh, Virtua Fighter Final Showdown players who are now are streaming Ultimate Showdown, complaining online that uh, just that he's apparently got a ton of really good attacks that are also pretty safe to use. Uh, I think it was like a, was it a Kage player, Fox, who was complaining about that. But, you know, they, you get any, it seems like, in, according to the streams I've been watching, you, you get some veteran VF players together long enough, and they'll eventually start, <laughs> start uh, you know, commiserating over... The weaknesses and strengths of the various characters. Now, there are certainly characters who seem to be a bit stronger than others. Akira, for instance, is pretty darn strong. He's also very hard to play. But in Japanese tournaments, for instance, it's usually a lot of Akiras in the top ranks. Knockout! And maybe there was some question of whether Sega might do some balance changes, but they have basically said they did not want to affect the gameplay. And I don't really expect that to change. The, the current director doesn't really seem comfortable messing with the gameplay. I oh. Okay, I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing, because what I'm doing is getting all by Akira. With some characters, Akira, I don't have much difficulty with. Uh, so we'll see what... Akira is always the last, he's always the quote-unquote final stage. So you're always going to have to deal with this if you're playing through arcade mode. Uh, I'm not, whatever I'm doing is not what I need to be doing. Oh, sad, sweaty cowboy. Oh, kick that board. You'd better be ready. <laughs> oh, Jackie. You're so funny. Akira's new face is a little... Those brows are a little out of control. It's like you could pick up chopsticks with those brows. Oh, God. I still don't know what, what's going to work against this carrier. That's not a good idea. Nope, don't back up. That's a bad idea as well. Uh, now, 
I had done pretty well playing through with Wolf until I got to Akira, who just seemed to throw escape all my throws. So, uh, why? Wow, he is just doing a lot of guard breaks. Uh, I can't. The skip back is getting me totally massacred. And I tried to do a follow-up attack, which will dive back in. Try forward kick. That's just too slow, I think. Uh, and easily defended. Oh. Yeah, Kira's fighting Kira is so strange because with certain characters, you just have to kind of be patient. And that's probably what I do need to do here. It's too bad that's a high attack on the last kick. I wonder if he's got... No. Ah! Yeah, not having the skip back, or having the skip back with that stupid taunt is actually very problematic in this fight. Maybe I should try the kick follow up. No, too slow. Well, that did get a lot of pushback. See, I stayed in there and he threw me. That was dumb. I'm dead. Uh, well, still experimenting, I guess. Uh, it's out of range. I kind of knew that. Oops. So there I just hung in there and waited for him to attack again. Round four. Ready, go. Oops. It was not my turn. Ow. Oh man. He is doing a dash back and getting caught. Uh, he starts to do the throw though. I... Ooh. Uh, I just had to be patient, that's all. Time for you. So I got through pretty easy. Oh, well, yeah, so the bonus stage. I've only beaten Dural with one character so far because you can't continue. It's just a bonus, as they, they've always called it in the Virtue Fighter series. Ready, you can never continue against Dural. You just get one shot. She uses attacks from all the characters. It's difficult to use the just mashing strategy, if you could call it that, against her because you never know what she's going to do. So it's hard to know, it's hard to know what to try to hit her with. Round two. Ready, go. Somehow I beat her pretty handily with Pi. Well, it was probably close, I don't really remember. Ah, oh, gosh. Ow. That weird slapping sound. I, I don't know if that's a hit or a deflection or what. Is it just a block? Oh, uh, what was... Whose is that? I hate that. Is that a Taka thing? I don't even know whose that is. 
Oops, wrong, 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 wrong. Well, I guess I had to wait till I was two rounds down. Hit her. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, what the heck? No, why do I... Oh, am I dead? No, she throws me forward now. That's right. In five, she would have thrown me behind her, and I would have been dead. I'm dead. Big old evasion. Oh, poor Jackie. Didn't know what happened. So, I got through all right. Um... Yeah. So I have to decide if I want to continue playing Jackie in Ultimate Showdown. I mean, it's still a question in my head of how much play I'll be able to get out of Ultimate Showdown. Just the arcade mode here, which is all there is single player now. Although, actually, I mean, I'm getting more out of it than I thought I would after Final Showdown, because Final Showdown, it did have a, if you got all the DLC, you, you got a special sparring mode, it was called, where you could fight teams of customized AIs, which is kind of cool, because they had different looks and different themes, and there were a lot of, I think there were like 20 teams, and it was like teams of four or five AIs to maybe up to nine. So that was pretty cool, um, but it wasn't very hard at all, and I could just really cheese my way through easily. Arcade mode actually does have a steeper difficulty curve, so I so I gave up on Final Showdown after finding I could just cheese my way through, but I was mostly doing it against Special Sparring, which was not quite as difficult as the later stages of Arcade yet. So there's more... I'm finding there's more gameplay to be had than I had thought when I quit playing Final Showdown because of the defensive weakness of the AI. There, there's, it gets a little better in the later stages of arcade mode as opposed to the special sparring mode in Final Showdown. I wasn't, there is an arcade mode in Final Showdown, but I, I, I didn't think to try that because it just seemed boring. Um, so that, discovering that has been good and it got me back into playing here in Ultimate Showdown. Uh, but, you know, like if I... There, there doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of space for me to improve with these characters. You know, obviously I can work toward getting through with no continues, and that will take a little bit of getting better with the characters. I just don't know... You know, that, that's not still not a, not a huge leap, maybe. I mean, maybe it is for me. I'm not, I'm not very good. So we'll see. It, it could keep me busy enough. So, so far... Um, man, that guitar is wailing. Well, anyway, so far... Well, I guess I've, I've basically tried all the characters that I think I want to play for now. Or that I thought I might want to play for now. And... And I've narrowed it down to four. And those were the four that I was kind of able to get through with, without some sort of huge speed bump and a lot of crying and moaning. And so those characters are, uh, in the order I tried them, that was Sarah Bryant, who, I, who was the character I had played the most in Final Showdown. So maybe that wasn't quite a fair comparison, but anyway. I, I do like to play dress up with Sarah, so she, she was pretty much going to be in the mix no matter what. Uh, Sarah Bryant, she's also just got, you know, a lot of kick offense that she does to, to keep the AI on its toes. Um, I'm just going here to, to have less distractions going on when I, while I babble. Wait a second, what? Am I on Akira? Stop. 
Not bad. So, so yeah, I've got Sarah. I guess I could have done this on the character select screen, but that music is maybe a little more distracting. Sarah, the second character I tried was, uh, wait a second, now I've forgotten. What the heck? I do need to be on character select. Oh, I'm old and decrepit. My mind is gone. Um, Sarah, come on. Who's the second one? Sarah. Oh my gosh. Uh, well, it's not Akira here. Um, oh, Jean. Jean Cujo. We're kind of on his stage, I guess. Jean Cujo, who is very. just blast him, rock him, sock him offense. Um, and Vanessa Lewis. I was kind of surprised it worked as well as she did, but I was happy because she's cool. And now we've got Jackie. So we'll see if I get frustrated with Jackie like I did in Final Showdown. I definitely hate that little skip back he's doing, so wait a second. So we do forward punch, punch, kick. Actually... What's the move in evolution I can do and then he skips right back at is it just No, not right kick. Uh No, not that. Um no, it's, I only have like four attacks I use in final uh, evolution. What the heck is the other one? Arr. Uh oh. Yeah, so Guard plus kick. I should turn my inputs on, I suppose. Uh, is that the one? Well, that's not really what I wanted. Oh, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. So, uh, guard plus kick. See how sloppy my button presses are, I guess. You can do the skip back. You push, I think you only have to push back once. Yeah, single back push will get you into that. Skip back, and then he does a stupid little dance. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna have to do... So I can go forward with the punch. Or a mid kick. High punch or a mid kick. What am I doing? Yeah, it doesn't look like you can do a low. Oh, you can do a low, and that has a mix up. A little high mix-up. Okay, well, I have to decide if what I want to do. Because him just doing... That is not a good option. But see, well, they obviously didn't want him just skipping out of trouble easily. Like he used to be able to do. They did this to my bread and butter attack. Well, maybe I'll find a different bread and butter. I don't know. I mean, my bread and butter is forward punch, punch, kick. I'm not even doing it right. What? What? Huh. Yeah, they want him getting right in the face of whoever. I mean, he 
wasn't really getting viciously counterattacked with forward forward kick, even if he did hang in there, so maybe it's all right. So one thing that's funny in evolution is that you can do the flip kick with just a back kick or with a back kick guard. Oops. And in evolution, up back kick guard is slightly faster. It's really hard to tell, but eventually if you do the tutorial, they have you trying to do a combo with Jackie that does not work with up back kick, whereas it does connect with up back kick guard. I wonder if they're the same now or not. I'm gonna have to go to his command training, aren't I? Uh, mm. What am I looking for? I kinda wanna know about forward punch punch kick. Middle back knuckle spin, okay. So, yeah, slide step shuffle. It's the low. So that's it, huh? That's kind of what I figured. And then, uh. It's gonna tell me about flip kick. Somersault kick. Didn't show the... Maybe guard kick is not really an input for it. Anymore. So maybe they... Yeah, I guess not. Alright, well... I guess that answers that question. I wonder if you can still do... Yeah. That's basically the only combo I, I really kind of do in Evolution is... is that. Nice, and, nice and simple. Two-hit combo. That's about what I can handle. I mean, there is this, but that's... Oops. I was going to say super easy, but no, I screwed it up. And now they've complicated it. I don't know. I don't know if I can handle it. One thing that does seem better is in evolution, if you do his, uh, just punch, that is super punishable. Maybe it is still here. I don't know. Oh, you can't, ooh, you can't do, that's back kick. You can't do that third and fourth in evolution. It definitely looks like they have made a lot of the moves more viable, as in not nearly as punishable if you connect with them. Down forward punch looks like forward. It looks like neutral punch, but it's slightly different, which confused the heck out of me for a while in evolution. To the point where I just basically don't use either either neutral punches or down forward punches, which is probably a mistake. But forward punch, punch, kick has been much safer, I think. But I might just not have to worry about that against the AI in this game anyway, I don't know. I 
could just do. I just did a high low sweet mix kick sweet mix up. Ah, it's just neutral. Neutral and then down. I don't think he has that in evolution. That's nasty. That's really nasty. Look at me mashing buttons. So I don't know the timing yet. Oh, it's just fun to mash buttons. Let's face it. All right. Well, that was uh, that was me messing around with Jackie, cheesing my way through the AI. I guess uh, I guess I'll do some more cheesing with Jackie. Um, I've been playing this game twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Now that I've played. I've tried all the characters I wanted to try. Will I keep doing that? I, I guess. I, I don't know. Will I keep making costumes? Mm, I mean, I, I wish they would get the other items in. It's been a month since the game came out. I guess I was thinking probably two months sounded. I, I, I was sort of hoping after two months they would have another drop of customization items. I think that still might might happen. Give him another three weeks, or actually, wait, no, well, another month, right? Um, it might be that they're going to try to get all the remaining items in in one big blast. That might take more than two months. They haven't really announced any kind of schedule for, for when those remaining items might show up. Um, Jackie still has some lots of costume, costume items or options that I would go for, though. In the meanwhile, uh, so yeah, I guess I'll just be doing messing around this way with uh, Sarah, Jean. Jean is the character I've played the least since he's only in Final Showdown slash Ultimate Showdown. So I might be seeing more of Jean. Uh, although I do like Vanessa and I like Jackie and I heart Sarah, so I, I don't know. I don't know, those are the four characters anyway that I guess I'll be playing. I thought maybe I would hold off on Jackie until I finished uh, quest mode with him in Virtua Fighter 4 Evolution so as not to sort of confuse myself having two Jackies I'm working on, but he's, he's very different here. Hopefully that won't Hopefully he's different enough that I won't get the two of them confused. If I do and I start hosing myself real bad in evolution, I will have to stop using him here. Because I'm at, I think, the final arcade in quest mode in evolution with Jackie, and it's pretty tough going already. I don't need to complicate that in my head. Anyway, um, so here I'm doing stuff that I never do, including evasion sight. So yeah, it's the input for evasions. You can do a if you do it quick enough up or down, he evades. But if you don't quite do it fast enough, he just stands there. That trips me up. I guess I'm just too heavy-handed on the darn stick. But I also don't see after an attack. You don't know what I don't know what the timing window is for evading, so I have to kind of mash it anyway. I don't know, I hate you, baby. <sighs> well, fortunately, you don't need to do it against this crazy AI. This kooky AI. You big goofballs. Oh, so his down attack switches the size. His back throw... His back throw does not switch sides, his down throw switches sides. Is that how they do it in Final Showdown? Because that's, that's different. It's his forward throw. Huh. That's 
giving me a down throw. I'm trying to do a half circle motion. I don't think Jackie has a half circle move anyway. Does he have a forward forward throw? Yeah, there he is. He's got that in evolution. Back back. Oh, there we go. So that's regular back throw. Oh, no, I was wrong. That's just a regular guy. I don't know if there is a back back. Well, I'd have to pull up his command list, and I don't feel like doing that right now. So, uh, I, I'll have to go through command training with these characters again. I mean, I went through command training in Final Showdown with, I think, all four of these characters. But that was that was long ago. I'll have to do that again. I didn't. Pl I stopped playing Final Showdown. I think a year ago, or was it six months? It was more like a year. Because I found because the AI in the mode I was playing, special sparring, just was way too easy. Once I learned, you could just mash attacks on it. Um, then Ultimate Showdown came out, and I just wanted to be where the action was. So I gave it a shot, and arcade mode, it's got a little more, a little more resistance from the AI than special sparring. I mean, the AI is completely the same, so I'm sure arcade mode in Final Showdown would be, you know, about this level of challenge as well. I don't think they improved the AI at all or changed the AI at all between Final Showdown and this. I don't think they will ever tweak it and make it better, make its defense better. So I think that's basically what we're stuck with. I mean, I see people asking for a quest mode and stuff. And my first thought is like, well, if the AI can't really defend very well, there isn't much point. But then in this arcade mode, you see like stage six can sometimes put up a what feels like a decent fight once in a while in a round or two but then you see other rounds where it just doesn't defend and you just clock it with the same attack over and over so yeah maybe if they did a quest mode then they would actually realize that and fix the ai but then again five had a quest mode and the ai couldn't defend against throws so maybe not but they're not going to do quest mode they made this to get uh tournaments going for arcade Japanese old hard hardcore Japanese arcade players. That's why they do it. That's all they're gonna do. Which is fine. Alright, well, uh so I guess I'll be back next week with a couple more episodes of this kind of tomfoolery. Thanks for watching. Um let's see, this is my Thursday night. Right? Thursday? Yeah. Friday night, tomorrow, I'll be playing, and then I upload and get them posted, usually the next day. Sometimes YouTube takes a little longer to process, but uh, anyway, it doesn't happen too often. Um, next up will be King of Fighters 2000 on my Neo Geo MVS. That's what I do on Friday nights lately. Saturday, Tekken 5 Dark Resurrection on PS3. Sunday... Uh, well, that will be Virtue Fighter 4 Evolution Quest Mode with Jackie. I don't know how... It's... it's. I mean, I have to fight a, four or three more champions to unlock the tournament in the, what I think is the last arcade. Then I have to beat the tournament. And that might take me forever. I just don't know. So I'm not sure how soon I'll be done with that. I think... Uh, you know, I was thinking who else, who I wanted to play next in quest mode in 4 Evolution. And I had started a little Brad just when I was trying out different characters. Um, but I don't know if I really... I have some kind of weird existential problem playing Brad where I'm just not ever sure that I'm doing the right thing. Or, I don't know, it's weird. So I think I should just... I think I kind of just want to play... The certain characters that I like a lot and feel more interested in. And that would be uh, Sarah and Vanessa. So those may be the next characters I would try to get through quest mode with in Evolution. 
But I uh, still haven't beat it with Jackie. Might take forever to get through the last tournament. I just don't know. And then there's all kinds of extra stuff you can do, which I'll probably mess around with for a bit. At least a bit. Um, so I guess I'll still be doing that for a while. So that uh, that's Sunday night, Jackie and Quest Mode in 4 Evolution. Uh, Monday night, I actually, I, I remembered during the course of today something I, I wanted to have time to do, and I realized that 4 is a holiday. That's when we get a day off for uh, Independence Day, which is, what, Sunday, actually, the 4th, but then we get a day off, so they put that on Monday. Um, so... Uh, oh yeah, so the, I think what I'm going to do is play through, I think I have about four more characters to play through uh, Fighting EX Layer with here on PS4. Uh, so I want to get through that and then play a little of the, the Kumite mode, as it's called, that you can set up in the training mode in that game where you just fight uh, endless random opponents, which just sounds cool. Uh, and then decide if I want to keep that game installed on my PS4 or not play it anymore. Um, so that I think I'll be doing Monday. Uh, Tuesday it will be more of this, so probably some Sarah, I guess. If I'm going to keep my rotation order going, I don't know. Anyway, likely Sarah. Um, Wednesday some quest mode in Virtue Fighter 4 Evolution again. Thursday is back to what this was. Uh, more Ultimate Showdown. That would probably be with Sean. And so forth. So that that's what's coming up. More of the same for the most part uh, with uh, my wildcard day being Monday with some Fighting EX layer or a whole lot of Fighting EX layer as the case may be. Will I keep that game in my game rotation or not? I'm not sure. There are some things... I mean, I like some of the quirky stuff. I don't like... I really don't like some of the other quirky stuff. So, we'll see. I guess it will come down to... Uh, whether or not Kumite mode manages to keep my interest. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching. And, uh... Good night.